Hey everybody, Bill Inelli, Inelli & Associates Real Estate. Welcome to the Real Estate Matters video cast, February 5th, 2021. February 5th, 55 degrees in beautiful Chino Valley, Arizona. We're checking in today at Chino Valley. Some people have been asking about Chino Valley. We're just going to do a little drive through, give you a little information on the area and what's happening. Chino Valley is um, is north of town about 16 miles into down to the plaza area, about 12 miles to the outskirts. It's kind of rural living, you know, and uh, people are moving out here. A lot of locals are moving out here. A lot of people from out of state are moving here, wanting a little land, acre lots, nice area, uh, kind of a mixture of everything newer homes, older homes, there's a nice upscale manufactured home subdivision going in where you own the land, there's some custom homes going up, there's some spec homes going up uh, all around the area. I'm kind of driving through a little older area, starting out here just to see how it is, give you an idea of the lay of the land. It's about 4,700 feet in elevation, now we're 5,300 in Prescott proper had about a foot of snow a week ago you can see hardly any snow here right pretty much melted off they didn't get that much here so they'll get about half of that out here with the lower elevation rolling hills great views different terrain you know kind of like a Midwest setting and it's wide open Chino Valley actually was uh, named Chino means grass it was named after the uh, gra grana grass g-r-a-m-a -A, grama grass not your grandma. And it was the first territorial capital, a little bit before Prescott was. People think it was Prescott. But Chino was in the uh, 1854. It is incorporated. It became incorporated in 1970. Here's some new builds up here on the left. Let's give you an idea of what's going on. 1970 became incorporated. This is just some new builds that they're throwing up over here. Nice. These look like they've got pretty big lots, like an acre, and it's mainly behind them. So these are new, new construction. What are they? they put about six of them here on the right, and they're got it platted out for about six on the left. With big, big backyards, so people can uh, have all their toys. Look at that. So those things go pretty far back. It's a nice house right here. That's nice. Stucco. You see a lot of stucco. Composition shingle roofs. So this is a started out when I was growing up in the 70s farming area. They had a big Chino Valley corn festival. There's the sheriff. Alfalfa ranching. Now, guess what the, uh, one of the big crops is? 40 acre marijuana farm out here. Sun King Labs, look it up online. They supply most of the uh, product for the edibles in the marijuana industry. And they've got a great, that was on HBO, what a facility. They've been featured on some stuff. The, it's state of the art stuff. They've got greenhouses out here. Uh, quite, a, quite a setup. Sun King Labs. There's also a winery out here. Granite Creek Vineyards. I went by there this morning. They're closed. I think they open up later in the day. Granite Creek Vineyards. You can look them up online. They have a, make their own wine. They have weddings and they have food. So uh, there's some stuff happening out here. People are moving out here. It's getting, uh, there's some restaurants out here. There's a good local restaurant named El Charo. Used to be in town. Old school family, if you ever look that up, it's kind of on the in a residential neighborhood. Look that up, you're out here. Really good Mexican food with the they've got a you know barbecue pit and sit outside, have a margarita. So it's a slower lifestyle here. There's a high school right here on the right, Chino Valley Unified School District on the right. They had their own high school and school system before that. They used to come into Prescott High School. This is Highway 89 which is the main drag. So I am heading 
north, and if I went up here all the way, I'd end up and uh, take a left to take me to Kingman, going west, and to Laughlin in Las Vegas, going east, I'd go to the Flagstaff Grand Canyon area. All fairly close, so that's another reason that people like it out here. They can go up to Flagstaff, go over to Las Vegas, and the roads are net, they're laid out very nice. It's a grid system. That was road one north back there. And then you've got road two north, three north, four north, so on. Behind me, it would be Center Street. And then you would start all over again with road one south, two south, three south. So when people go, oh, I live off of road three north, you're, oh, okay, I know where that is. Really nice way to get around it, really well laid out. 12,000 people, like I said, and uh, growing. People are moving out here. For all kinds of reasons, mainly for land. Maybe they have animals. A lot of animals, horses, donkeys, dogs. So it is, um, it's a slower lifestyle. Employment's tough. Government, get on with the government. They have a nice parks and rec system with a outdoor aquatic center, nice lap pool, ballparks. To the right here is Safeway. And I'm, it's rumored that Fry's is coming in because this Safeway is busy. I've been in there. They've got Ace Hardware, Walgreens, uh, some some urgent cares. Uh, another big question. People go, well, what if I get sick? Where's the hospital? The hospital is at Yavapai Regional in Prescott or they're in Prescott Valley. So you're about 20 minutes away from uh, medical attention if you need something serious. But they do have doctors and urgent care centers and some clinics out here in case something does happen. But if you needed something major, you'd have to go into Prescott. Um, so it's a nice area. Now prices used to be a lot cheaper, but it is cheaper than Prescott right now. You can buy a nice home like we just drove by where we started the tour in the or low three range and climbing. Used to be in the 250 range, but now it's more in the three to four and climbing so you can pick up a nicer home out here for less money more affordable manufactured homes are nice out here now they can go all the way up to a million though the homes out here and really nice homes with all the bells and whistles are bringing four to five hundred thousand dollars in this area they have the roundabouts which I'm not a big fan of up here a lot of roundabouts now there's the dollar store what else do you need a dollar store come on Got the dollar store going for you. And a little Ace Hardware store. What could be better? So I'm kind of headed out a little bit farther here on the north end of Chino. Just letting you know. See the terrain. It's uh, rolling hills, 4,700 feet. Milder temperatures out here in the wintertime. A little bit warmer in the summertime. Water, great. We get most of our water in Prescott from Chino. Big aquifer out here, the Chino Basin. Prescott gets their water. They have six wells out here, and then it goes into a five million gallon reservoir and feeds the city of Prescott. The people in Chino, a lot of them are on private wells, and now they, have, they do have an infrastructure with water and sewer but there's septic and private wells out here for a lot of people, which they like. And then generally they're good wells. Now, again, they're spotty areas that you gotta be careful of, but generally very good water out here. And people are continuing to move farther out where I'm going. Past Chino is an area called Paulden and another area called Kirkland. And they're going farther and farther out because Prescott is built out and surrounded by forest. So this is another area where you're seeing tremendous growth. We're seeing a lot of people going out purchasing land and houses in Paulden and Kirkland and Chino. So look it up on a map in relation to see where you're at in relation to Prescott. It is a whole different vibe and a different terrain as you can see. And it's pretty spread out, about 60 miles. Chino Valley, uh, you know, the incorporated area. I'll flip around here. But big ranches, big alfalfa, big hay, uh, vegetables, fruits. It's really fertile soil and great for growing crops. 
apple trees, things like that, wine, vineyards. <laughs> you don't grow wine, a vineyard. And marijuana now, which is a big cash crop right now out here as well. I'll take the roundabout. Look at me, driving good today. Don't say Bill crossed over the yellow line. Oh no. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, no snow out here after about a foot of snow last week. 56 degrees and no snow. Well, they're going to get half the snow that they do in town anyway. So, here's what's going on overall before I get out of here. There is no inventory. I pulled it up this morning. Okay? Single family homes in this whole area Chino, Prescott Valley, Prescott, Paulden, Kirkland, Dewey everywhere in this whole area which is quite encompassing 225 homes that's it that number is usually seven or eight hundred okay 320 homes overall with if you include condominiums townhomes manufactured homes and stick built 320 there is no inventory that number is well you know a thousand twelve hundred usually so it is very difficult to buy a house. That's why people are coming out here, maybe buying some dirt and building. They're going to some of these subdivisions that are going to be starting up and, and, and looking at new builds. But new builds are also very busy. So if you do purchase a new build, you've got at least nine months before it's complete. If you do try to build your own house, you've got nine months to a year because everybody is backed up. Architects, builders, COVID made a shortage of lumber and concrete. These are the things going on. So that in turn is pushing prices up and there is just more demand than there is supply. Simple economics, right? Okay, is that gonna change? I don't think so for the foreseeable future. If interest rates remain low, which they probably will because the economy will crumble if they raise them. And people can sell their houses elsewhere without a big dip in the market, they're coming here. And that's what you're seeing. Chino Valley's increased about 23% in price from last year at this time. Prescott's increased closer to 30% along with Prescott Valley. So you're seeing double digit appreciations I like to see more of an eight or nine percent, but we've jumped up in the 20, 30 percent bracket the last year. And for many reasons, look, it's 50 some degrees in February, you know? It's an easier lifestyle out here. It's quiet, you can go to the bank, you can go to the store, run all your errands out in Chino in an hour. You stay off this main drag and the other the streets are very, very limited with traffic but this is the Highway 89, so there is some traffic on this. So this is the downtown section of Chino Valley. So I just wanted to give you a little idea of the terrain when we get uh, some more model homes coming up out here, a new development, we'll, we'll do a tour through one of those so you can see that. I wanted you to see the makeup of the land because people are asking, well, what's Chino like? And now you kind of know, it's, it's far reaching views, it's sprawling, it's acre lots typically. Some of the lots are smaller, but you can go out here. A lot of this stuff is zoned for acre lots. It's rural, it's quiet, it's friendly. And people, a lot of people go into town that live here. I have agents that live here and work in town, work all over. So it's not a big deal to drive 20, 25 minutes home, come out to Chino Valley drive into Prescott where there's more job opportunities or Prescott Valley than out here. So keep us in mind if you want to give us a call. I would appreciate everybody calling me. I like talking to everybody all over the country. You just want to uh, shoot the breeze, ask some questions, no big deal. You want me to put you on a search for properties in these areas that'll hit your email, no big deal as well. Check out the website. It's AZ Real Estate Matters. Had a couple people missing the AZ azrealestatematters.com and you can search the MLS for free and if you want me just to set you up on a search that you, instead of having to go there all the time I'll do that and it'll hit your email box when new listings come about we can do all of that 
fourth generation native of the area, born and raised. We've got great agents also to help you out, and I will help you out as well. Give us a call, 602-463-9166 or 928-848-6911. Check out the website, azrealestatematters.com. Subscribe to the video cast. Appreciate everybody doing that. And we hope to see you out here to the great state of Arizona in the very near future. We'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day. Stay safe.